just heard about the death of Desmond Tutu. Absolute legend in his own lifetime. An amazing, humorous, godly uh, man. And um, I want to honour his memory by just sharing a story that had a huge impact on me when I first heard it, uh, heard it a few years ago. And I've used it in uh, various uh, settings with teaching and preaching since. It's a wonderful example of um, turning the other cheek or or, or uh, refusing, refusing the way of violence. Um, and this comes out of um, a story that, that occurred in apartheid South Africa. And of course, uh, Desmond Tutu was a vociferous, um, uh, very much active um, role in bringing about the end of apartheid, that wicked racist system, primarily in South Africa and in other situations around the world. And the, the story goes that he was walking down the street one day and he's in his robes, he's in his collar. Everyone knows who Desmond Tutu is. And he's walking down along the pavement, which is a narrow pavement. And coming the other way is a big, burly, white guy. And they end up approaching each other. And the white guy says to Desmond Tutu, don't forget, this is at the height of the apartheid regime in South Africa. The white guy says to Desmond Tutu, move out of my way, I don't give way to gorillas. And I often pose the question at this point, what would you do next if it was you? And of course, we often think of various, there's no way anybody talks like that to me, there's no way that I would just be, uh, I would re reply, retort softly, I wouldn't take soft action, uh, but what do you do if you're a follower of Jesus and it is about turning the other cheek? Desmond Tutu, heard this man say, I don't give way to gorillas, stepped off the pavement or the sidewalk, gestured with his hand like this and said, I do, and the man walked on by. That is a perfect example, I think, of a man so saturated with the love of God in Jesus Christ, turning the other cheek, refusing the way of violence, uh, and bringing about and playing a big part in bringing about the end of a wicked, wicked racist regime that we know as apartheid. Brilliant. And this is, uh, I'm saying this to honour the memory of this great and lovable man.